Charter Local Edition, Brad Pomerantz here in the beautiful Inland Empire. A bit hot, but still beautiful nonetheless. We're joined today by Riverside Councilman Mike Subaru. And sir, I'd like to speak with you about the November election. No, yes. I'm not going to talk about the presidential <laughs> election, although it's somewhat relevant. I'd like to speak with you about a local sales tax measure that will be on the yes. ballot. Not a transportation sales tax, but a sales tax that will be general. What can you tell us about that sales tax? Well, with a general sales tax, it's 50% plus one versus a right. you know two-thirds vote for a, a specific tax. Um, this tax, as proposed by the city, um, would be one that would be earmarked specifically for City of Riverside purposes. It would not be something that Sacramento would be able to okay. have their hands on, so it's not calculated out like our 8% sales and tax. And currently, Riverside has its own half-cent sales tax. Yes. You are going to increase that by one cent. What I wanted to ask you along those lines is, what? why one cent? Why not half a cent? Right. Why not two cents? Right. I mean, what's the magic behind one cent? I think a two cent sales tax would be a bit extreme, and uh, there's a lot of municipalities that have you know gone that route or or had scaled right. back. And one cent seems to be the the, the norm. The sweet spot. Um, half cent really will not achieve the goals. I think that city management and executive management right. is looking for specifically on that. So it seems that the one percent sales right. tax, in looking at all their projections over decades. Uh, would probably I gotta ask you it's so interesting to me how Riverside finds itself in a bit of a fiscal pickle I guess you could yeah. say and the reason I say that is we I've been talking about Riverside for years and I was always so impressed that during the recession mm -hmm. Riverside City was doing very well the Renaissance was moving forward whereas our friends in San Bernardino right. were declaring bankruptcy right now we're out of the recession and Riverside is in that fiscal pickle that I mentioned and San Bernardino, look, they still got their problems, but they're not in deficit. Right, they're growing out. Yeah, they're growing. So, so what's going on? I think it's a chewing up with uh, a new administration coming in, new executive management that uh, they're looking at things differently. It would appear that in our budget, some of the items that were keeping us from, you know, being fall. in any type of a deficit okay. or fault was, was uh, like one time type uh, benefits. For instance, coming out of redevelopment we sold some very high expensive properties now those are gone and we're into the smaller ones that are left mm -hmm. over so they were able to have some windfalls of one two three million dollars that were plugging those gaps and planning your physical uh, balance uh, so to speak with with one-time you know revenues is, is not a really good way to go so this is probably a little bit of fallout from that. <coughs> I want to ask about the ballot generally yes so this fall, in addition to the presidential, the mm -hmm. Senate, the Assembly, the California Senate, Congress, there's going to be 17 state measures on the ballot. Yes. Three of those state measures deal directly with increasing revenue. You have the Prop 30 extension, right. which only focuses on millionaires. You have a cigarette vaping tax. Yes. And you have a school bond. Yes. That's a state school bond. In addition to that, we're going to have, here in the city of Riverside, this sales tax increase. Right. And significant portions of the city of Riverside are also going to be asked to vote on a local school bond. Right. So just in the city of Riverside, as we speak today, there will be five measures on the ballot that are looking to raise revenue. Yeah. Californians tend to be generous, and I could make an argument for each of these independently. Absolutely. But when you put all five together, are you concerned? as a proponent of the sales tax measure, and one that normally, you know, is a little queasy about increasing taxes, are you concerned? Yeah, I'm, I'm for putting this on the ballot, but I may not necessarily, I haven't decided yet whether I'm a proponent of, oh, of our, our measure. Okay, fair I'm, enough. I'm a physical conservative when it comes to money, and I think right. we should live within our means. But um, should that change, and, and yes, I, I believe it should be in the hands of the voters. I, okay. I can't think of anything I would not put on the ballot unless it was immoral, illegal, or okay. very highly unethical. I got it. But I'm just not a big tax person. But looking at these things from that viewpoint, you know, it is a lot of tax measures. However, wearing the hat of the council member and looking inside, you know, city finances and, and how things operate, to, to bring us to the level of service that we've been accustomed to in Riverside, for instance, on just focusing on that, is it's going to be a number of years right. with this deficit. Like next year, it's going to be 10.5, but then it drops 10 back 10.5 million. In the hole. Now, is that, what percent is that? Is that a big number for Riverside? What's your overall general it, fund? It, it's not really, really huge. It's, um, you know, it depends on the discretionary of, spending aspect of, of, of what that is, because of there's a lot that we, we can't. 
but um, you know that we can't touch because right. it, it goes out to labor and everything else. Mm -hmm. But you're talking about a half half a billion to a little bit over, okay. um, and then you've got the water utility that's close to about a billion dollars, right? Or, or close to half a billion. Right. Me. So combined total, you've got about a billion dollars, billion and a quarter. So ten million, not a lot. Doesn't feel good. Right. Doesn't feel good. You don't right. want to be in deficit. Right. You know. And, and and we're able to cover that with our reserves. But here's the thing: once we get to flatline where we're neutral, right. now we're going to be paying back those reserves. So it's about a ten year maybe or so, and that's provided the economy stays the same and doesn't get worse. Right. And we all know that there's up and down of turns. Of course. And there will be a time that gets worse. So let me ask you about a poll that was recently released. And that poll suggested, or it stated it's very specifically, that 63% of Riverside residents see a need yes. for additional services and 64% would support a one cent sales tax increase. Right. That's 14 more points than you need. Right. But this poll was taken in the middle of the summer. Right. What's your not mixed in with all those different not propositions mixed in with either. all those propositions? Yeah. I feel as if maybe this poll did consider the potential uh, Riverside yes. school tax. Yes, it did. So, but didn't consider all the other taxes or, or revenue enhancements. Yeah, you're on the streets at day in and day out, in your ward, out of your ward. You feel like this poll is is instructive? Does it reflect what you think your voters, the voters of Riverside, feel? I think so from what I'm hearing out there because the number one call is for public safety as far as uh, you know the panhandlers, homeless, uh, a lot of the, the um, livability issues, right. uh, streets, you know repaving, uh, tree trimming, a lot of that got put off with the renaissance and right. now we're paying for some of that and so we're trying to play catch up. So there's a lot of want but there's just not enough money to go around. So the question is often when sales tax measures are passed or bonds are passed there will be an oversight committee. Right. I know for example with the RUSD bond there's an oversight committee. I think it's actually required. Is there one with this sales tax measure? Basic, it, it Does it exist? There's not one built into it but last week I did actually propose for a future item along with Chris MacArthur our council okay, member sure. from Ward 5 that we have sort of a budgetary um, economic uh, kind of an advisory uh, commission that would talk about some of these different issues and would kind of uh, vet them out to the public and, and gain a lot of input so um, we're but it's not required right it's as not required it is with, with the but we've asked city staff to look into that to give us some feedback and then it appears that it's going to go to the finance committee to kind of lay out how it will work but with regard to the half set that already exists yes has there been one no it seems as if it's run in a non-controversial fashion right. I mean everyone seems to be happy about it yes and, and and what they're doing is you know just simply that is being you know vetted out on right. normal everyday expenditures of what we do and but what unlike we provide. for example a bond or a transportation sales tax increase yeah. the, this measure doesn't say this amount will go for roads this amount will go for trees that's correct and that actually is required if you right. want the, the and which would be plus one right is to be general so what do, will it take for Mike Subaru to come out in favor or against yeah. this measure, if at all. You know, I, I think it's the reassurance to the public that, you know, some can be skeptical to the idea that, you know, okay, we, we give government more money, they're just gonna spend it on things they shouldn't spend it on. I think if it's vetted out to the public that it's showing a specific need, it's not, not the specific item, but right. there is a need and that the fiscal house is in order and this is something that, look, if you want, and, and to me, this is real basic for me. If the public wants the specific level of service, they're going to vote for it. Right. If they don't want that specific level of service and they're willing to take less, which Riversiders have not been in the past, right. they like to have a specific level of service, then they're going to vote for this. So, you know, I'm kind of watching to see really how things are going and, and you know what people say about it. We'll see. His yeah. name is Mike Subaru. He is a councilman in the city of Riverside. Important election in this city and throughout the nation November 8th. I believe it is. My name is Brad Palmer. It's in the Inland Empire, Charter Local Edition. That was great. Thank you.